Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Gustavo Perez, and I'm going to walk you through a little bit of through my journey in practicum. Uh, my presentation is Changing Course, Happiness Within Reach, and primarily is uh, looking a little bit of career changing, uh, regardless of what stage in your professional career you're in, 20s, 30s, 50s, uh, whichever the case may be. So a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been with my company for about 11 years. I've had multiple roles. Uh, until recently, for about four years, I've been in the sales uh, side of the business. So primarily, uh, manufacturing is solely my, my uh, segment group. I call on about 25 different accounts uh, with roughly a 2.5 million uh, sales revenue per year. Uh, and it's, it's challenging, uh, it's exciting, it's uh, different every day. Uh, however, there's always challenges within the organization. Uh, for the longest time, uh, they weren't promoting from within. So that was something that really was uh, going against what I thought. I wanted to see more people being promoted. Uh, I was blocked several times of advancing within the organization. So uh, I considered multiple times changing careers, right? Uh, I, I started looking into shifting into the sales side of the organization uh, until I got my, my promotion to the sales team. And I was kind of doing a you know, self-analysis on myself and, okay, what skills do I need? I felt that I had the skills to move into the sales side. However, they felt they didn't. All I wanted was that opportunity, right? And that's multiple times I think that's what we really need, just that opportunity to jump into the next career. So in my case, fortunately, that opportunity came. Uh, I've been successful, uh, thankfully, through my four years in the sales, so it's been good. Uh, however, there's always skills that we want to work on. And I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of us in our cohort, if not everybody, joined the program is because we had a purpose. We see ourselves five years down the road, 10 years down the road. We need to work on different skills. So that's, um, so that's that, case, that question came to me, right? Am I doing what, I'm, what truly matters? I'm happy in my sales career. Uh, it's both rewarding, rewarding helping customers economically as well. Uh, but there's challenges. There's always the, uh, it's, it's not always happy. Uh, there's always conflict between the organization, the way they're going, layoffs, uh, job insecurity. So it's, and, and the problem with the sales role is so it's always, what have you done for me lately? So your, your results from the previous month are not really going to matter this month. They're going to they're gonna matter at the end of the year. Uh, so they're, you're looked at at the different lens. They want results driven. So it's mostly sales. So, it's, so it kind of creates that conflict, okay, do I really want to do this? Do I not? So I, I've questioned myself and throughout this journey, uh, I don't think I still have a clear vision of if I want to continue doing this or not. Uh, I see myself probably within the next five years still in the sales role. Uh, however, I'm still kind of doing a self-analysis of what I want to do. What's really going to be that dream job for me? So to me, it's just being honest to myself. What skills do I need? What do I need to work on in order to move forward? Uh, because I certainly do not want to be that guy. You know, I think, I think that happens a lot. Uh, I see it with a lot of my customers and having the conversations on a daily basis. It's like, well, you know, job, it, it pays the bills, right? Well, one of the figures that really was eye-opening for me was that uh, one of the um, surveys or one of the research shows that up to 70% of employees are dissatisfied with their job. So just think about that. 70% people not happy with their jobs. We work for the, the majority of our lives, you know, 65, 70, you know, whatever your retirement age is or your goal is. So if we're going to be unhappy at our job, what really is that going to create? You know, our mental state, it's not going to be good. It's going to bring problems to home, you know, because a lot of times it's easy to say, we'll leave your job issues, you know, out the door. Well, it's really, you know, it's easier said than done. So that's, that's really an issue. When you think about that 70%, uh, and going back to some of the presentations that some of my uh, peers were talking about, about the work culture, how you treat your employees. And a lot of the times why people change careers is because of the environment where they're working at, you know. And, and oftentimes it's, but you want to do something different. But a lot of times, you know, you're, you don't like your boss. So you, you just say, the hell with it, I'm going to move somewhere else. And, and that's why a lot of times there's high turnover uh, because they're not treating the employees right. You have the right people. And um, so you're looking for a change. So, you know, panic mode or change. And then it comes the flight or flight mode. And a lot of times 
if you have a good plan in place of what you want to do, what you envision yourself doing, uh, and have done that self-analysis, I think you're going to get to that point. Uh, there's different avenues. For some people, it's much easier to change a career. For other people, it's much longer. Uh, it can go either way. But you always have to be true to yourself for what you want to do, what steps you're going to take, have a, a, a realistic timeline of what you want to accomplish. Uh, because there's going, to be, there's going to be challenges, there are going to be bumps through the road, uh, but having a good plan in place is going to get you to that next step, uh, step which is, uh, which is a, so we go to the, you know, what do we need to do? What steps do we need to follow? Um, it's, it's important to, to keep a timeline, what things we need to do, how are we going to get there? Um, it's, it's a long process. If we need to take baby steps, then we have to, right? Uh, like I was mentioning earlier, some people are going to make that shift. Uh, it could be a lateral move, it could be 180 degrees. Whatever the case may be, you have to be true to yourself. Do I have the skills to do that change? Because there's, there's a big difference wanting to do a change and being ready to do a change, right? Um, sometimes if you think you're ready but you're not, then you might, you might see more uh, roadblocks. Uh, and then you're going you're gonna to start questioning yourself, okay, well, why am I not, I'm not getting that? Um, why am I not doing that transitioning? Uh, so it's, and, and some of the research that I found as well was it's much easier to do a career change while you have a job, obviously, because you have that, that job security. You can take more time. You can be more meticulous on the way that you want to approach it. And, but the, the thing is, if you don't, then have a transitional job, something that's going to get you by. But be cognizant, going back to that 70%, you don't want to be in, that, in, that, uh, in those numbers. You want to be the 30%. You want to be happy with what you're doing. Um, and the, the interesting part is of this thing as well is, as, I, as we've been here in this, in this program, uh, when we first started, all of us kind of had a, okay, I, I see myself, you know, I'm, I'm focused more into the environmental, the people, the economic. And all of us have evolved through the process, which is interesting for me. Um, some people were very specific of what they wanted to do, um, and you'll hear later today of one of, one of our peers, they, they had something in mind, this is what we're going to grow, and I, and I know that they are in the 30%. They're going to be truly happy, they're passionate about what they're doing, and, uh, and that's really what I wanna, what, where I want to be at as well. Um, and then we just need to start, right? The finish is within reach. So what we need to do is start focusing on, our, on the path that we're going to be taking. We need to be prepared. So part of the, part of the thing is finding a support network. That is, that is fundamental in this process uh, because you need to have some, somebody that you can reach out, call if, you're, if you get stuck. So in, in my case, when I'm looking at myself and doing a career change, it's not just me. So it's my wife, my kids. Everybody needs to be on the same page. Because uh, at some point, if you're not having those communications, you're going to start you know, gearing to different, different, uh, different avenues, and that's going to create an issue. And, and it's not only your family. You can network with people through different social media. You can do seminars. Or like many of us did in here, we joined this program because we wanted to have those skills. We wanted to work into something that we envision ourselves perhaps when we started into something, but we have evolved. And the thing is, Many of us, I would imagine, have changed careers at some point in their life. And I would imagine it's not going to be the last time they're going to do it. We're going to continue to change. You know, as we were discussing yesterday, some of us, some, some of the peers already have interviews. Some already have changed it in different roles. And that is the beauty of this. So if we, if we analyze ourselves and say, okay, this is the skills that I need to work on, and we work on those, and we dedicate ourselves on that, then that's going to bring us to the next level. So that is, that is one thing. Uh, there's multiple forms we can do self-analysis, uh, skill sets. Uh, there's different tools that we can use to, um, to help ourselves identify what, we, what areas we need to work on. Um, and this goes back to the support network. Uh, I think that really resonated a lot. Uh, it was mentioned in a lot of the, the books that I found, a lot of the articles, is having that strong support network but the, because that's really what's going to keep us afloat. Uh, because this is really not an easy journey, doing a career change, lateral 180 degrees. Um, it, it's going to be it's going to be a challenge at some points, and having that strong support network is really what's going to help us uh, move ahead. And then we just need to start start our journey, 
having our action plan in place, having a good time timeline, being realistic to ourselves, having those, uh, that self-analysis, being honest, looking for help, it's gonna get us there. And it's, it's definitely not gonna be a straightforward pass. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be like a maze, you know. It can be short, it can be a long journey, but it definitely with having something, as a good strategic plan in place, we're definitely gonna get there. There's definitely light at the end of the tunnel, which is a good thing. You know, sometimes we might, we might fall, but the important piece is how we're gonna get up, right? Uh, having that support network, being true to ourselves, there's light at the end of the tunnel. In my case, this has helped me already starting working into my transition. So we wanna relocate, uh, and we're working together with my network. Um, my wife is already looking, in, she's been accepted to a school where we're gonna be relocating. So now it's, but we're working together as a team. Before we were kind of, okay, we're doing this. We weren't really communicating together. And that's really where that communication piece comes in place. And this is something that I found that really, really caught my attention. And I, 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 I thought I would like to share with you guys. It's, and it says, the moment you choose to do what you really want with your time, instead of constantly seeking approval and permission uh, of other people, is the first moment of your new life, a life you created a life in which you decide what happens, a life worth living. So I think the important thing is here, um, understanding ourselves, uh, being true to ourselves, what's, what our values are, what our passion, what's really gonna drive us and make us happy in our job, uh, because I certainly don't wanna be in the 70%. I sure think that you, you guys would not like to be in that 70% either. Uh, so that is, I think that's the, big, the biggest takeaway for me is understanding what's really gonna drive myself and getting up in the morning and say, I truly love this job. And that's gonna evolve in our 20s, in our 30s, in our 60s. And something that you mentioned earlier about you know, the difficulty of finding job at a later stage in our lives, I think that's, that's, it's unfortunate because the amount of knowledge of somebody at a later stage that can bring to an to a organization, it's invaluable. You know, oftentimes we get straight out of college and we go with many different ideas but we're missing all that uh, ex experience and expertise. So I think that's the biggest takeaway for me is just uh, focusing on those things, being true to ourselves, and having a good plan in place that can help us do that extra step to our, our career change. So thank you very much.